What's happening everybody? Steve Looney here from graphicdesignertips.com. This is episode number three of my new Adobe Muse quick tip tutorial series. And in this episode, I'm going to be showing you how to customize your user interface and specifically the actual color theme of the background. Now this is something that is so simple, but people don't know that it's available in Muse. And it only came about sometime last year. In fact, when it came out with a, a number of different um, upgrades to the software I actually did a video on my top five favorite things and this was definitely my number two or possibly even not uh, definitely was number one it's number two but um so okay let's talk about screens real quick and and people's eyesight and, and your work environment now I work on a Mac right now it's a very bright and vivid screen I also have worked on PC screens that may not have been as bright and you know I remember being in college and working in my classroom and and like uh, you know the lights would be dim in the classroom and there'd be sunlight coming through and we'd have these bright Mac screens and uh, you know it, it, it kind of screws with your eyes depending on how how um, sensitive your eye is to light so what's really cool about the user interface color theming you can come up to here into Adobe Muse go to preferences and very simply come into the color theme and right now I have it on the second to last but we can either do this really dark okay a little bit less dark lighter and super light now it's very interesting and, and I'm trying to figure this uh, out why um, well uh, I pretty much know my own answer but when it comes to web design I'm more apt to use a darker background because it kind of contains the website in here uh, it, it helps me really balance it and visualize it better but when I'm working in Illustrator and Photoshop I use the light versions of everything um, because I it think it, it helps me see the overall canvas so much more because I'm using so much of it outside of the artboards but um, yeah that's how you change your user interface uh, right here with the color theme there's also some other settings in the preferences um, I always make sure smart guides and rollover hint labels are on so when we hit OK and we roll over you know we're gonna have things that tell us what everything is so that's it everybody again this is a quick tip uh, let me know in the comments what you learned obviously there's only one thing to learn or what you like about the series so far what you'd like me to touch on in the future okay everybody and definitely check out my new course this website on the screen is a part of that course you can download it own it and use it towards your next project and I will see you guys for the next tutorial have a great night peace